Hey guys, today I am going to be doing a huge makeup haul. Even though I just did a makeup haul, I wanted to show you guys what I've collected in the last like two weeks, and it's a lot of stuff. Um, I have my boxy charm here, some stuff from Ulta, some stuff from Neutrogena, and I just want to show you guys because honestly, I wanted to know if you guys wanted a first impressions video or a tutorial using these products because I would love to do a first impressions or my opinions on the products because I don't know if all of them are going to be like okay or if they're going to be good or not. So yeah, so the first thing I'm just gonna start off with is just my boxy charm. This is my June or no July box, and this I went through already. But other than that, I am really enjoying it. So it just starts by having this car. Boxy charms are twenty one dollars a month, and they come with four to I think seven products or four to six products each month. A range of variety of products like hair, makeup, skincare. It's just so many beauty products all in one box, and they have good companies like Tarte, Ofra. That's how I learned about Ofra. I didn't even know anything about it until BoxyCharm, and they ha always have just such cool things in here. So the first thing that I see in here is just this Ofra Pro Palette. Let me just talk about this thing for a second. It's just like a Z palette, and it just had six shades in there, and I like how they didn't fill it up all the way so you can still stick your own single eyeshadows in here, because I have a couple single eyeshadows that I don't know what to do with because I have not bought a Z palette yet. And I think this is perfect, and it just has the shades Bohemian, Buttercup, Smoked, Iron, um, Truffle, and Italian, Millennial Gold. Why did I say Italian? And they're very pigmented it looks like and I like how we just have some matte shades and then some shimmer shades which is cool and this is $59 if you just wanted to buy it yourself that's like three times the box and that is really impressive and then the next thing that is in here is just this lipstick and this is the Noya I think that's how you say it I'm not positive lip gloss and it's $16 retail price so almost the price of the entire box and I'm just gonna swatch it on. It's just this like pink purple shade. It's very vibrant. You can see that. Very, very nice. I would put it on my lips, but my lip color matches my shirt very well right now. So I'm not gonna do that. And then um, another thing that is in here is just this um, PYT hair oil treatment. And I use hair oils all the time because after dyeing my hair, for about nine months straight, I um, needed hair oil because my hair is like that, as you can tell right now. It's just natural, but it's a lot healthier than it used to be. Um, and this is a range of, oh, not ranges. This is thirty dollars. And then I also had one more thing, and, I, and then there was one more thing in the uh, box. But I actually used this brush today because I thought it was really good, and it was a great blending brush. And this is just the Molly Beauty uh, rounded blending brush, and this is fifteen dollars. And this brush is amazing. I used it today to blend in my eyeshadow. Oh my god, it's so good. And yes, yeah, so that is everything that I got in my boxy charm for this month. The link will be down below if you guys want to purchase it or check it out or whatever you want to do with it. I think it's really worth the money out of all the subscription boxes that I've really ever gotten. This is the one that I've seen stick by all the time because it's just that great. And now let's just move on to some of the Neutrogena products that I've received. And yes, so the first things that I got were just these oil-free acne correct and cover-up pink moisturizer or pink grapefruit moisturizer. And this is the fair to light, and this is a tan to medium. I've actually tried these before. I got them back in October when I went to BeautyCon. I got came home and I saw it in my mailbox. And then I got it again because these are really nice. Uh, I like to use them if I'm going out to like a beach or like going out in the sun for a while and not having a full face of makeup. The next thing that I got is just this um, Neutrogena he uh, Healthy Value Mascara. It says 400% fuller, clump free lashes with olive. Mm. The brush is really thick. Like I usually have like my mascara brushes really thin so they get every single lash. I'm kind of excited to try it. It is in the shade Black Brown. It just looks like this. I'm kind of really excited to try this. And then I also got the um, Neutrogena Nourishing Eyeliner. And it says defines and brightens in precise lines to add a smoky effect. And it also has a smudger at the bottom, which I really like those because I love my eyeliners. I can just smudge them out a little bit and blend them. And um, 
I can only wear certain eyeliners anyways, like Neutrogena and Almay and Maybelline are the only eyeliner, the eyeliners that I can use because my eyes get really irritated really easily. I also, got, um, also picked up these Ardell Adore Lashes. And I've been wearing fake eyelashes every day, so I'm like trying new lashes. These ones are just the natural Ardell lashes. And I haven't tried these ones yet, but I'm excited to. And then I also have this Neutrogena um, Naturals Purifying Facial Cleanser. I haven't tried this, but I might try it um, tonight. Um, it says it gently removes impurities, improves complexion for a fresh, clear skin. It's a pretty big bottle, too, and I like how it has a pump. And then we also have the Neutrogena Anti-Residue Shampoo. And I'm not really sure what this is. It says it's used once a week shampoo treatment to instantly reduce residue that can cause bad hair days. Hmm. Then go back to your favorite shampoo and you'll find it working better than ever. Instantly removes heavy dueling residue caused by shampoos, conditioner, and styling products. And then I also got this Neutrogena Clear um, Stubborn Acne Daily Leave-On Mask. Got this before. I haven't used it though. My sister has. I don't really get breakouts that often. But I would, I would try it. And then I also got these um, Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. Um, I actually used them. So you could never go wrong with any makeup wipes. And then I also got this Neutrogena uh, Foaming Cleanser. I haven't used this yet, but I will use it probably later tonight to remove my makeup. And then I also got this Neutrogena uh, Moisture Stick uh, Color Stick. Just looks like this. I've actually used it in my last video. Just this very, very pink, kind of nude color. And yes, that is everything that I got from Neutrogena, and then I had one Ardell product. But now moving on to stuff that I got from Ulta. Ulta was so kind enough to send me this box full of their goodies and stuff that they enjoyed. And I got it the other day, and I almost like cried because I was just having such a bad day, and I saw this, and I was just like, my life is complete. They just had this Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion in here. I don't usually use sunscreen, but somebody will. And then I also saw that I got this Ulta Eye Primer in Nude Matte. And I'm not a big fan of all Ulta's um, eye stuff because I used to have like breakouts underneath my eyes because I would use their eyeliner and my eyes would get so irritated that it would just start like watering so bad. Like maybe their formula has changed. I will definitely give it a try. But usually their makeup products like for my eyes do not work well with my, I guess, eyes. I don't really know how to explain it. But I'm kind of excited to try this. And then we also had the Honest Beauty Lip Gloss. I actually have not seen the color of this, so I'm kind of excited. Oh, it's just this pretty color. Oh, it's just this like nude pink gloss. I've never tried Honest Beauty before, but now I will. Um, yeah, it's in the shade general kiss and then we have another honest beauty product and this is just a magic balm so i'm guessing this is like a lip cream or a lip chapstick type thing i don't really know what this is just looks like this um this is just a magic blend of organic fruits and botanical oils botanical oils to soften and smooth everything with just a touch Oh, I see that. That is really cool. Like if I had like something like right here, I just blend it out with this and it would look perfect. That's actually really cool. Maybe that's why it's called a magic balm. My original thought when I heard magic balm was lipstick. But hey, that works even better. And then another thing that I had in here was just one heck of a blot from Soap and Glory. And it's just an instant powder primer and it works for all skin tones. So I'm guessing this is kind of like the Pore Professional from Benefit. Let's see. So it says it like shrinks your pores. Okay, we're just gonna add it. Not the same like um, texture and formula, but it also kind of blends out like the um, Pore Professional. Hmm, I'm kind of excited 
gonna try this because I do not have a primer right now and this might be my new primer. So I think I also had a little more thing from Soap and Glory. Yep. And then I also had um, Soap and Glory's Orgasm, Orange Gasm. And it's in the Rich Body Butter. And it smells with, oh, it smells like oranges. And I really don't use body butters that much because I don't really get dry skin that often. But if I do, here we go. And another thing that I used today that I was so excited for because I've never really tried a Maybelline like eyeshadow palette before. And when I saw this in this box, I was excited to try it because there were so many like weird colors in here. And I was just like, whoa, like <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. So I used this palette today on my eyes. And it is the Maybelline Graffiti Nudes palette. And I used this shade right here, this shade, and that shade for my eye makeup today. Very pigmented, goes on very well. Um, like, even that blue and this pink, like, ooh. Like, I want to make so many tutorials with this. It's, like, so good. And then it says, 13 looks in one palette swatch. Um, and you can watch, like, some tutorials on it as well. It's just super cool. And then I also got another eye palette, which is from um, Ulta and Jenny Fox. And it just has all these cool shades, just like really nude. And Jenny is a YouTuber, if you guys didn't know her. And she wanted to create a palette that had like warmer tones and be, bleh, and be extremely wearable for every single day, which these shades are definitely wear very wearable. Ew. I had to put one name in there that I do not care for. Mm. That just like ruined the palette for me, just seeing that name in there was like... Like, if I cannot escape it, honestly. I'll talk about that eventually, but <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it now. But I also got this um, Airbrush Essentials Collection Radiance Fan. And this is just a perfect fan for highlighting because my fan that I use to highlight is super big. And I want something that's more precise, and this will work perfectly. And then I also got the Triple um, Set Texturizing Amplify and Refreshes. What is this even? It, I'm guessing it says it's a dry shampoo because it says absorbs oils, refreshes hair, adds texture and volume. And then another thing that I got, which is for my favorite Ulta drugstore um, company, which is just the Makeup Revolution because their highlighter and bronzers are so good and you can't beat it for the price. And this is just the Revolution, um, Makeup Revolution um, Shimmer Brick Radiance um, Highlighting Kit just has all these shades. I really don't prefer these because I really can't get in there and choose the color that I want, but I can't regret not trying it because I would love to. I also got the Essence um, eyeliner pencil and it's waterproof and it's just very, very long and precise, which is very nice. Smiley face. Actually, this is not a smiley face, but it's like a face. And then lastly, tons of lipsticks and these are all the NYX suede lipsticks and I got a lot of dark ones which I was kind of surprised about. I got this one that's in this like kind of like maroon like a dark maroon shade and then I got one that was in like a darker gray kind of brown and then I got one in like a dark dark purple and then I also got one that was in a, another dark purple and then orange uh, like another purple shade then another dark blue shade a brown which I've never really wore like a dark brown lip before this very very bright blue um, this lighter purple and then another brown shade and if you guys want a lip swatch video on all of these I will do them I actually have one that's downstairs that's like really black that I actually wore yesterday to work which was really out of my comfort zone but I kind of really like the dark lip but yeah, so that is everything that was in this makeup haul. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you guys want any first impressions of any of these products because I would be happy to do it. And let me know if you want a lip swatch video as well. And also make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I upload every Thursday and Sunday. And you guys can also go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at CJWalker735 and add me on Snapchat at CJWalker735 as well. And yes, yeah, so that's about everything. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.